Hello everyone, my name is Katrina and I am back with another video. Today we're going to be doing a complete full wrap tutorial on a 20 ounce skinny tumbler. So I got my tumblers from the Stainless Steel Depot. That's where I normally get all my tumblers from. And this isn't a sublimated tumbler, of course it's stainless steel, so I'm going to just sand it lightly, prep it, spray paint it. But instead of doing one water slide, one decal at a time, applying vinyl, doing all that, I said, you know what, let me just attempt to do a full entire water slide decal. It's not just a backing. It's so easy to do a full water slide when you have just a solid image. But my customer wanted a complete um, customized work tumbler for the USPS for the post office. So of course, you know, I went and created, I went like over and beyond. I went and had an image created for them from Pfizer, you know, uh, for a character, for their face. I mean, this is completely custom. So that's just what I do. But anyway, I didn't want to do one decal at a time. So I actually did, stay tuned, <laughs> check me out. I went and did a complete water slide wrap. So I'm going to cut it down to size. Of course, I'll give you the measurements and everything. I'm going to cut it down to size. And I'm going to show you how I can apply this whole entire water slide to this tumbler instead of doing it piece by piece. So go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel. And let's just go ahead and slide this decal on and get this tumbler ready. slide decal I'm gonna do a full wrap and I printed it straight from my silhouette studio I uh, created it in Photoshop and then printed it right from my inkjet printer again this is my TR8 520 and I'm gonna go spray it so that way I can seal it in and then use it for my tumbler okay so I always put it in a little box this is the seal that I use. Y'all know me by now. I live by this Rust-Oleum. And I'm gonna give it a spray. I had printed one out already. I had already kind of trimmed it down, but um, I noticed the water slide had some like markings in it, like over here in the, the corner, right over here, down here. So I can't use that, um, but this will be a backup because I'm not <laughs> doing it again. So I'm gonna let this sit. 30 minutes in between, I'll spray it, seal it three times, three times I'll spray it, and then I'll go ahead and cut this one down and apply it to the tumbler. So this is an eight and a half by 11, but the actual water slide image is measured by 9.3 by 8.2. 9.3 in width and 8.2 in height. So if you need to make a template yourself, those are your measurements that you can make that will fully wrap the 20 ounce skinny tumbler. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut that down to size. Some people I know do it, you know, afterwards, but I'm gonna try to get it as close as I can beforehand. Okay, and I'm just keep testing. So that height is literally perfect, looks like. And you see how that comes like almost right to the tip? So I'm gonna leave that because then I can always, <clears throat> I can leave that because I'm gonna go back and I can slice that. And I can cut that little piece off. I do want a little bit of wiggle room to play with. Okay, so I have warm water here. And I'm going to submerge it all the way. I'm gonna go ahead and wet the tumbler. And I'm gonna just take it and transfer it little by little once it's ready. And you can already see it's coming off of the backing. So 
so I'm just gonna take it and lightly remove the backing from the water slide. I know I've, so, I've seen some people mirror, mirror it and actually slide the whole thing at once. I wanna make sure it's completely straight from top to bottom. I want my street line to be as perfect as I can get it towards the bottom of the tumbler. And I'm just gonna lay it again. Dipping it back in the water. And I think that's perfect, but just not straight from top to bottom. Trying to be as gentle as I can. Okay, there we go. I have it on. I'm gonna brush out that water. As I'm turning, I'm just looking at my street and I want that all the way up on. So it's not 100% straight. And I want to pull it up just a tad, just a smidge it, and then, then pull down. Now, I'm very anal. I want to keep it wet underneath. Let me just go ahead and pull that backing all the way out. get all my wrinkles out okay gonna continue to turn Pushing all the water out. I'm gonna move that completely. Well, oh, I'm gonna keep that there just in case if I need. in my street that I don't want. I see a slight wrinkle.
pushing all that water down. And here we are meeting. And I got to get these seams to meet perfectly. this one up this is the tricky part for me I've seen people cut and I just don't want to cut and mess it up I'm gonna cut a thin line. I'm gonna fold that back for right now. It was really hard to get that straight perfect. And now I'm gonna do my best to get this line perfect. and move that up I truly want these lines to meet So I'm going to have to play with this side. Okay, so this is more challenging than I thought it would be. And I don't want to have to go all the way back, but it looks as if I am. And I do not want to mess up the water slide. So I'm going to go back. And I, you risk, with a full wrap like this, you risk putting scratches in the decal. I really thought I had it. Trying to stretch it up. Okay, let's push up, push up. Okay, that seems to be a little better. Now let's finish it out.
Okay, this is the only part. And I don't think I'm going to cut that. So I'm just gonna overlap that. Have to overlap that. And that will be fine. I don't wanna keep messing with it. I truly don't. Turn it. Dry it. Gonna turn it on. For my full wrap, didn't turn out that bad. Definitely a lot of playing with it. And then once you put the epoxy on, I just hate that I've made a little scratch in it, but I'm gonna see if I can fix it with a marker. So I'm gonna let it sit for a little while and then we'll epoxy. But this is the custom US Postal Tumbler. Just gonna let you get a up close look. Again, I'm gonna do a marker with that. I'm gonna trim off the top once it's hard. The rest is hard, but I think I did pretty good. You know, you can see a little bit of the line, but that's definitely okay in this case, you know, in my opinion. Of course, I would want it to be perfect and let those lines meet, but I do need to perfect that area. But I think once I put the epoxy on it, it will be fine. So I have about 20 mLs of epoxy, and I'm just going to go ahead and apply this. Stir it for about a good five minutes. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this to the tumbler. My epoxy always seems really thick. So I do want to try a different epoxy. You know, when you mix it, it should be, you know, clear. But my epoxy always, you know, seems thick. I definitely don't want to get it on the bottom of the tumbler. But I'm going to get it close to and then just go up. So I should have just enough epoxy. So again, I use 20 mLs. top to bottom. I hate that I got that scratch on there.
and I'm just gonna heat this with the heat gun. And I'm just gonna hit this with the heat gun. This was literally the easiest tumbler to epoxy. So quick and simple and fast. And that gets out all the air bubbles. And this is my Wagner heat gun that I'm using. I am loving this full wrap. I'm loving it. So I will definitely be doing a lot more designing it myself and then doing full wrap tumblers. It's just so much easier as opposed to just doing piece by piece. So I'm gonna let this turn all night, another eight hours, and then we will check it in the morning. Good night. Check it out. Check it out, check it out. This baby is finally done after three days, after three coats of epoxy that I put on it. And I have a full wrap, my first full wrap decal tumbler. Uh, I gotta get a full spin for that. <laughs> I'm crazy. But guys, I'm so happy with this. It came out really nice. Again, everything that I use in today's video will be linked down below. All the products, I know a lot of people always ask me where I get my heat press from, where I get my cameo from, which model. Everything I use will be linked down below. Also, my Etsy shop, everything is linked down below as well. You can follow us on social media. I'll be doing some more vlogs too, so that way you'll see like day in the lives of. And my room tour is still coming. I just have to clean up. It's like a mess right now. It looks like a tornado blew through this room because she is busy. I don't have time to always clean up here and there, but I'm actually waiting. I'm going to be doing some nice resin signs that's going to go up with my decals. So once I get that done, then I'll promise you, I'm going to do a room tour. It's a wrap, literally. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This thing came out bomb, if I do say so myself. I'm really proud of myself. I don't know if you guys seen it or if I mentioned it earlier, but <laughs> it says I like to lick it before I stick it. So I'm about to package this up so I don't miss my mailman because my mailman saves me from going to the post office all the time. And I might have some more videos coming up soon with my little co-host. So if you want to stay tuned for that because y'all seem to like him more than me. I don't know what that's about. But nevertheless, I kind of like him a lot too. We truly enjoy making these videos for you and I hope you've enjoyed. So don't be shy. Go ahead and support. Join the family. Smash the like button and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace, love, and joy. Bye.